Hi everyone, welcome to the third episode of my little Nanlite masterclass. In the first episode, uh, we learned how to play around with colored lighting using the Pobble Tube and the 60C. In the second episode, we learned how to create really specific uh, lights and sharper shadows. And now in this third episode, we are going to be playing with uh, haze in order to kind of create a cinematic feel to our photographs. So if you watched uh, the previous episodes, you will be a little bit familiar with our studio setup. We have uh, two power tubes set on the side of iron to create that little rim light. And we've still got our, so we have the 60C on the beauty dish as our main light on iron. But the difference now between the previous episodes is that we've replaced the two 15Cs that we had on the background and we put now a 60C with a projector attachment on behind Aaron. So when we fire up uh, the projector behind Aaron together with a bit of haze, we're going to be able to fill the room with a lot of light and it's going to have a really nice texture to it. We're going to fill the room now with a little bit of haze. Once I turn on the light now behind Aaron, we're going to get a very powerful light. And then if Aaron, if you move a little bit that way, yeah, perfect. A little bit back. There, great. So it's a little bit too bright now. Um, so I'm going to turn down, take down the brightness just a little bit, just so we don't get too much of an overexposure. So yeah, now we've got this nice little halo around uh, Aaron's head. And if we then add uh, one of the 30 Cs, we get just a little bit of highlight here on Aaron's neck. Same on the other side there. I can even bring up the brightness a bit. So Aaron can pop from the background a bit. So yeah, what I like, so the reason why I like shooting with continuous light rather than flash is that I see the result instantly. So it kind of it's, it makes it much easier for me to adjust my settings accordingly. Uh, I, flash has just never been something that, I, that has worked for me. Um, I've always struggled with getting the right exposure. Uh, and yeah, um, as well, I think it translates really well into moving image as well. So, uh, because I want to be work more doing music videos as well. We've got this set up, and then I want to try and add a gobo filter. So if we add a gobo filter to the projector, we're able to create like uh, more texture to the smoke. There, perfect, a bit more smoke, Luke. Great, and in front here as well, nice. There we go, sweet. And then I can even turn this up a bit as well. Nice. So we've got a really cool lighting setup now. Uh, the cool thing with when once I added the gobo with like the snowflake filter, we're able to kind of get these really nice and thin lines. And the cool thing with the projector attachment as well is that you can adjust the focus. So you can also like adjust how thick or thin you want those lines to be. So if I do one shot now with it a little bit out of focus, like that, you kind of have a little bit of texture, uh, but it's not super sharp. And then I can focus those little snowflakes on Aaron's back to make them a lot thinner. And then if I do another test shot now, you see we're able to kind of get these really thin lines. And now because of the projector attachment being the 60C, we're also able to then put it on uh, an effect mode and now we can add color to it as well. So now that we've gone through the studio setup with the lights, we're going to add color to it again, obviously. Um, so uh, the cool thing again is that our projector attachment is attached to this new 60C 
which gives us a full color spectrum. So now we are able to play around with that. And if I now go from CCT mode, uh, I can change it to the effect mode. And then I can put it on a hue loop like we had before. And now we are able to cycle between all these different colors. And then again, we can change all the other colors as well. So we have more colors to play with. So let's just do that on all of them. There we go. Now we have lots of colors to play with. Let's see how that looks in camera. Nice. We colors rotating on Aaron. We have, if we add a bit more haste now as well. Yeah. Um, so now I'm shooting on, I'm shooting on a tripod just because whenever I'm working with smoke, I feel it's, there's, you want to be able to record the, the beam. So you need to have a bit of a wider uh, aperture and you need to have a slightly longer shutter speed as well. If I want to shoot handheld, I could always pump up the ISO, but then you might get more grain. So it's up to you. It's the end of the day, it's just an aesthetical choice. And yeah, let's have a let's try and get some cool shots. Aaron, if you can stand a bit more profile, like so. Yeah, and then just look up towards the light. Yeah, nice. Just like that. That's really cool. And I can also now add a little bit more another element by using the split diopter. Nice. Come in another step here again. Perfect, there. That's really cool. Hold that. And you can also play around with other types of gobos again. So let's see what else we could play with. If there we go. Let's see how that looks on camera. That's cool. And if you kind of go, so I think that's, this is what looks really cool if you have a video camera. And if you go up and down, you kind of see, you can even like, if you bring it like that. So you kind of see like the different beams of light going up and down. So now with the gobo, we had it horizontally with the Venetian blinds and you're also able to kind of adjust the orientation of the gobo. So now let's try and see what it looks like if we make it vertically instead. There. So now instead of it looking like Venetian blinds, it kind of looks a bit like, uh, let's see, take a step forward. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. And then if I adjust, it's a bit too strong. There we go. So now we've gone from having the, the shots. So you see the shadow went from being horizontal. Here they were horizontal because of the horizontal bars. And if you turn it around, you can make the shadow go up instead. So to recap, in the first episode, we were playing with the power tubes and how we can add color to our work. And in the second episode, we learned how to create specific shapes with the light from the projector. And in the last episode, we learned how to put it all together and adding a bit of haste to get that last bit of texture. So in the setup, we've got our uh, beauty dish attached to the 60C. Uh, we have a bit of a rim light here coming from the side from the 30X and the 15C. And then finally we have uh, another 60C in the back uh, that has the, um, one of the gobo filters attached to it and is projecting towards the camera. Look up towards the light. There, yeah, cool. And bring down the 30. It's too strong. Nice. 
and that's it.